We feel it's extremely important to all of uh, non-Indian uh, uh, folks to understand the role sovereignty plays in democracy, because without uh, tribal sovereignty and tribal participation in our uh, nation, we would be much further behind if we were being at all. You could just look at the natural resources, whether it's uh, water, uh, uh, fish, uh, the forest, uh, that uh, in the state of Washington, uh, without the tribes, uh, we might have lost the salmon already. Uh, and uh, the uh, human development around resurrecting and increasing the what we call the uh, cultural spiritual power. It's a term we get from Dr. King, but the tribes are leading the way on making sure that uh, language and traditional uh, foods and medicines and a certain uh, consciousness of being uh, is leading the way. Uh, you, you, you could say that um, the danger of mainstream or white America for sure is the loss of culture. And, and when we lose our culture, we're dangerous because then we're looking at the world as an individual tiny dot and we don't have a community to care for or a community to be part of. Sovereignty for us is uh, just the right to govern ourselves. Um, you know, it wasn't too long ago where we weren't able to make decisions on our own. We had the Bureau of Indian Affairs which falls under the Department of Interior, um, who made all the decisions for us. Who better to run our business, our own internal business than ourselves? And a number of issues uh, that were reserved, um, you know, was healthcare, housing, education, uh, the right to fish, and for the Macaw tribe, the hunt, the right to hunt sea lions and and, and whales. Um, that's who the Macaw tribe. That's our identity. That's on our flag. Um, the Thunderbird and whale. A, a little story about the Macaw tribe. Um, you know, we've always been in the same exact spot since the beginning of time. We weren't moved. Um, a lot of other tribes were moved from one location to another. Um, I think, you know, quite a few people in the outside world doesn't know enough about tribes and their histories. Um, we didn't write the history books. And one other thing the government did to us also at the time, back, back in, in the early 1800s, they sent agents here. And the agents watched over the Macaw people. And that goes back to, uh, you know, stopping us from speaking our language, taking part in our traditions, our singing, our dancing. Um, they took our kids and sent them off to boarding schools, to, um, God, I don't even know where. A lot of, we, we have no idea, you know, they were taking our women. Um, and, and that's how they tried getting rid of us. And what the Macaw would do since we were whalers, um, you know, would get into our canoes and, and would go offshore to, to whale. And the agents were thinking we were going whaling, but we we're going to an island that we own, the backside of the island. And um, the, the people at the time would get together and they'd potlatch, they'd sing, they'd dance, um, they'd share, you know, meals. Um, and that's how the Macaw people retained their culture, their traditions, their language. We were fortunate. A lot of tribes uh, weren't in that same position as the Macaw tribe. Um, so the Macaw tribe has a really, really strong um, history uh, tied to their culture, uh, their traditions, and it's a living culture. It's always been a living culture and it's always going to be a living culture for the Macaw tribe. We, we've always had a history of, of um, 
overcoming and adapting, you know, and, and uh, living in this contemporary world, um, you know, and there's still barriers. We, we, we still face barriers, even though that peace treaty that we had signed is recognized not only through the, as the Supreme Law of the Land, through the Supreme Court, but it's, it's constitution, it's in, it's, it's in the constitution. So it's recognized by the president, it's recognized by Congress. And of course, like I said, the Supreme Court, um, but in saying that we're still protecting the little bit that we do have left. And what's in our treaties doesn't just benefit the Macaw people. What's in our treaties, I always think benefits uh, your normal person on the outside world. Um, it's a peace treaty. We sign peace. We we've always signed peace treaties with other countries, and uh, you know this was signed in 1855 for the Macaw people. And um, you know some of the barriers there is our treaties are always being attacked. 